Hey guys, what is going on? My name is VK and welcome to the third episode of After Effects Basics. So guys, in this video tutorial, we're gonna go over everything about you need to know about masks. And what is masks? That's one hell of a tool to help you make your visual effects so cool. It's the saving angel. It's the protective angel. It's like, it's just a tool that is so essential to us VFX makers and motion graphers, you know. And I'm gonna show you the basics of them. Um, just about everything, just how to control them, how to animate them. How, how you can use them in different kind of ways. So let's jump just straight in. I got two examples here, like how you can mask different kind of layers, um, or, and then video, just, so let's start right here. And here we can see we can ha have a blue back, a blue solid, a green solid, and a red solid. Then I just have a black background, so we don't have any kind of transparency there. And I want to do some cool shapes here and I'm gonna make a mask so if I just select the blue layer I can go up here in the toolbar and select for example what could we use the polygon tool could be pretty cool so then I go ahead and just drag a polygon here and that is pretty cool okay so if I just drag a polygon right there and now I have made a mask with that polygon so you can basically, uh, a mask is like restricting or cutting out everything else, just the polygon, like like that, and then you can move it around, just the whole layer. And if I go to, the, and hit M on my keyboard to mask like properties, and I click on from add to subtract, that basically what it does is that it takes the mask and like puts a hole in the solid, like with the mask and if you take add it just keeps just the area we masked around it so this is pretty cool and what we can just do to make it look even pretty prettier so we can right click on our blue layer go to layer styles go to a drop shadow and then I have made a pre-made drop shadow here but it's just simple just take the color pick the angle pick the size I got size and zero and just have the distance like this it doesn't matter uh, in this example it just looks a bit prettier so this is the first one just like using a, um, a ready tool up like just the polygon tool and if I want to mask um, animate the mask how do I do that so without moving the whole layer it's just if I hit M on my keyboard again so you can see the mask path stopwatch here and what I can do if I click on it, it creates a keyframe. And if I go, for example, to two seconds, you can go ahead, select my this um, my polygon here, and select one of the points here. This one point, this is the second point, third, and you can just select them by clicking on them, or select multiple by just dragging like this area here. And then, for example, if I just I just want this point. And now because I have three points selected, how do I get just one? So shift click, and then you have just one. And then I can just drag it around here. And let's see what do we have. We have a pretty solid animation right there. By using the mask path properties. Super simple, super cool. And also, if I want this point to move along, then I can just move it around. Get some interesting looks here. So we're having like this, and that's just animating the mask itself. And then we can also, every time, just ease out these, make it more smoother. So hit F9 key, or then you can just go and right click and go to keyframe assistance and ease ease. So then we make the animation a bit smoother right there. So it makes it faster in the beginning and slower in the end. Just making this like, you know what I mean. So that is the first thing, just like a real simple basic thing about them. Okay, so the next one is the, um, let's make some other kind of cool stuff here. So let's go ahead and pick up the tool you use most when you do mask, it's the pen tool. And you can also hit the G on your keyboard to get the pen tool. Or just go here in the toolbar and click the pen tool. 
and then let's uh, let's draw something. So I'll just do some like random stuff here, like some spikes or whatever. And when I complete the mask, it looks like this. As usual, it separates the whole comp with the mask. So I just drew this. And of course, if I go ahead and make it subtract, it will cut out just the part I masked. Also really useful. Or you can just use the inverted tab here. You can do any way you want. Let's go to add and inverted back off. So let's go ahead and also create this a uh, small shadow here. So it looks prettier. And then you might like my tutorials even more when stuff look pretty. So here's the same thing. Nothing that's more special. Now I can see this overlapping. And with the uh, with this you can just um with the mask you can just click on any button and control them just however you like make them look, look interesting and cool and if you double click on one of the mask points it will take on this kind of a whole transform tool so you can transform it like you know this kind of ways and if you hit enter key it will make that selection and then you can just continue shift click on one point if you if you want to select one um, specific point right there click on it then it becomes unhighlighted you can see here click it's highlighted and click it's unhighlighted and then I can just move it around just as I want so okay that's some um, pretty cool right there and of course you can animate the mask just how you like just like in the previous um, blue example and then if you want to, for example, create some vignetting or something, you could go ahead and um, select the red or another. And let's go ahead and select the polygon to the ellipse tool. And let's just click on, double click on the ellipse tool and it will make automatically a mask to me like this. And then what I can do is I can go to subtract. And then I hit F on my keyboard which is feather and feather is basically that if if I just unselect you can see the mask is really harsh there's no softness it's just like hard on stone so with the feather if you increase the feather mount you can you know a bit smooth out you know and like this if I just drag it up to 1000 you can get some pretty cool stuff and then if I invert it you can look like this that's also pretty cool and then you can also uh, animate the feather so you can click on the feather tab go to that two second mark and make that zero or like um no let's make it just 500 so you can see the feathering on feather itself with the animation it's not that clear because it's now so slow because it's rendering but you know it's there so you can see just how it unfeathers itself there's a lot of stuff you can do and of course this this doesn't just work on solid it works on shape layers but also text so I have here just my phenomenal name text here simple stuff you can see what I'm doing so if I want a text to appear like this really cool I could go ahead and click uh, take a mask select my layer and just like make this kind of a um, diagonal polygonal shape and of course you're not seeing the text because it's restricting all the text in this area so if I select this whole mask but click enter and then I, if I take it over you can now see like the text and if I put it right there and click M and to the mask path uh, properties and let's just animate to two seconds and let's just take these two points and move them like wow just like that so that what what it does is is now when we look it likes fades in, in this kind of cool way you know just pretty simple stuff there and of course if we want to make more smooth we can go ahead and click F feather it out a bit so we can get this kind of cool animation there I hit, hit U so we can see all the keyframes let's select them hit F9 for easy ease or as you know keyframe assistant and easy ease and if you have easy ease at later point at like a real um, 
soon point on your video and you want to uneasy them without going 20 steps back with the undo command you can just command click or control click one of the um, easiest points and then it will, it will uneasy let's easy it back again let's make it double the shorter so let's see what this looks like okay, that looks pretty solid right there okay so now that's just some basic stuff you can do with layers different kind of layers this also works with adjustment layers if you put a color grade and then you can just restrict it from different kind of areas well let's go to the second part if masking video and what you, what can you like use this for example if you want to do split screens if you're a gamer and you want to do a split screen view of two different gameplays uh, that you can do it really easily with masks for example here I have my coffee retaliation action effects short if you haven't seen it go check it out I leave a card here and annotations and links down below if you want to go check it out it was a cool short and show us some love and go check it out and also here underneath it I have my crispy voiceover my highly requested tutorial on how do I make my voice sound cool so I want to split screen these two videos and how do I do that because now they're just overlaying each other so I could always just like move them around like this wait that was wrong let's take the coffee retail at the top layer and move this around like, like like this but this is not a split screen because now I just have I have reframed it and it looks super bad and I just like move the clip this is no split screen so what we can do is go ahead and make a mask awesome so let's go ahead and click the uh, the top layer and go to rectangle tool and let's make a mask like this and then we can for example move this underneath clip so I can reframe this so it looks pretty more a bit more cleaner so I can see my face yeah scale it up if I want I have a pretty face there I know that pausing though reframe just as how I like I want to see just my last name to all you stalkers <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, that's pretty good. And okay, we can make the mask a bit more interesting. We can go ahead and shift click. And let's make this a bit more diagonal. We can just move it around like this. And now it looks pretty interesting. And if I want this to feather in, I can just, for example, just hit the F key and feather out. Now we can see some some boring stuff happening it's feathering from the from the edge and that that's not what we want how do we fix that super simple let's take one of the points and just drag them away so it's feathering from a further point like this and like that you know super simple super effective check out the volume there and then you can see we have a faded like to put two clips onto each other so that's like super simple stuff there and if you want some heavy training on masking check my lightsabers Star Wars lightsabers tutorial there I'm like super in depth with with masking and you get training so much so check it out and show some love there too and thanks for watching this video hope you guys like this After Effects basics comment down anything you want to learn is it the VFX I'll take those in if there's something you want to learn and I want me to teach about After Effects, that's just like this basic stuff, let me know and I'll put some cool stuff on the interwebs. But guys, thanks so much for watching this. Give this video a huge like if you liked it and a dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment down below if you want to. As you know, you know the drill. What do you want to see next? And subscribe if you haven't already. My name is VK. And I'll see you in the next video project. Thank you.